We all have feelings. But there's a basic neurochemistry that underlies all of them. And this is the driving force behind how we feel. So in other words, your brain spurts out happy chemicals. And those reward you with happy feelings to make you feel good. But is there a way to get high and feel good without these? Well, the answer is yes. Get ready as this psychologist who specialized in clinical psychology tells you how to get high anytime. And reveal to you four natural drugs that you didn't know about. It's all in your head, man. Hi there, self-helpers, and welcome to Self-Help Yourself, the number one self-help channel dedicated to becoming the best version of yourself. Stay tuned as I tell you about four natural drugs. And they're all in your head that will allow you to find true happiness and how you can use them to get high anytime. So the limbic system of the brain primarily produces four neurochemicals that make you feel good. And these include oxytocin, endorphin, serotonin, and dopamine. So when you consume a drug, it's basically your limbic system that's tripping. And it's the action of these four chemicals that make you get high when you consume a drug. But if you took the drugs away, could you still feel good? Yes, you can. So let's get into the strategies. Trust and belongingness through oxytocin. Now, oxytocin is the bonding chemical. So if your trust has been betrayed, you'll hold back. And this can make you feel like you don't belong. So what's the key? Build more trust. Be trustworthy. If others know that they can trust you, you're more likely to feel that you can trust them or find a proxy. It takes time to build trust. So maybe you could get a pet that will be loyal to you. Join a volunteer or support group where you won't be judged or just find a sport where you can play and connect with others. Get yourself a massage. Take some time to apply body lotion or face cream. This can take you one step closer towards feeling really good. So since touch stimulates oxytocin, try and indulge in a little more physical contact or cuddle with either your friends, partner or family. Be open and interact more. Verify the trust of the people that you know and try and trust strangers a little bit more too. Next comes euphoria and determination through endorphin. Endorphin is nature's pain relief. It's stimulated by pain, which is why it needs to be balanced to allow you to push through the pain and promote well-being. This is why people feel really upbeat after a good workout. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Start exercising more. Because then you'll start to feel good after getting that endorphin rush. So enjoy your workouts and that'll elevate your endorphin high later. Next, start laughing more. Ha ha. Endorphin is evolved for survival. So taking away fear through laughter can be very healthy. So start laughing your ass off to feel really good. Next, learn to cry more. Crying is necessary to relieve tension. And if you don't express yourself enough, that's gonna create some problems. So be open, experience the pain and cry more. And that'll make you feel really good. And this goes double for you if you're a guy. Motivation through dopamine. Dopamine helps release the energy we need to get the rewards we want. This is what pushes us to get food or water or drugs. But we can get more dopamine in a healthier manner. So start off by taking baby steps. Break down a difficult task into smaller parts. This will allow your brain to tell you that a task is more doable. And it'll give you more of a dopamine reward every time you accomplish one of these mini goals. Next, remember to reward and congratulate yourself for every little achievement. Do a victory dance. Granted, this does not give you the same feeling as finishing a marathon in first place, but it's these mini victories that are going to push you forward and make you feel a lot better about yourself. Next, remember to raise the bar slowly. Don't go from never having cooked before to hosting a huge dinner party. Be realistic with your goals. Moving forward slowly will help you feel more accomplished and release more dopamine. Next, you want to learn how to act. To be or not to be and I don't mean that kind of acting. You can feel really good about yourself if you spend 10 minutes every day planning concrete actions and dopamine will give you the energy to do so. And last but not least, safety, respect 
and satisfaction through serotonin. Remember to enjoy where you are. Life is unpredictable and you can't always be in the driving seat. It's hard to be in control all the time. So know when to be happy and be a passenger. Your status will always go up and down. So take heart in where you are every single time. Next, stop and notice your influence. Don't always look to control others and be arrogant. You can see when people have taken your lead. So don't expect credit every single time. Just appreciate your good effect on others. And lastly, work really hard and take pride in what you have accomplished. So just to revise our strategies on how to feel good anytime, today we talked about working on trust and belongingness by manipulating oxytocin. Remember to bond more with others. Feeling more euphoric and determined through endorphin. Make sure that you are under control of your emotions by laughing and crying more often and also exercise. Motivate yourself through dopamine. Make small tasks, move ahead slowly and reward yourself. And look to gain safety, respect and satisfaction through serotonin. Work hard, build your reputation and remember to enjoy where you are at all times. Guys, we all make good and bad decisions. But if you really want to find true happiness, trust me, this is not the answer. And while drugs, cigarettes or alcohol or anything else might make you feel really good, remember, it's all temporary. Stop giving yourself excuses and stop trying to avoid the pain in life. So start getting high on life and it will take you places. Start believing in yourself because it's only you that can accomplish that. I believe you can handle it. Get started on your journey of finding true happiness today. So guys, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's right down there. What are your thoughts on drug usage and this video? Let me know down in the comment section below. What topic of psychology do you want me to address next? Let me know. If you know anyone who's been facing trouble with drugs and alcohol, ask them to get some help or direct them to my channel and I would be really glad to help them out. Subscribe to my channel so that these videos come straight to you and hit the notifications icon so that you are notified every single time that I make a video. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more and support me on Patreon if you want to see more videos like this one. This is Vikram signing off and I'll see you in the next session.